All right, and what is going on, everybody? Quan Incredible here to bring you the review for episode 142. And there are definitely some things in this episode I want to get about, or not get about, but get to. But I, I just have to get through this beginning part first. But wow. Um, so this episode, I believe, will, is starting like a small, I don't want to call it a, a, a arc because arc feels too long, but almost like a, a small mini arc of uh filler because so far we've we've got mostly one-offs and like i want to say in the beginning with the dungeon it was like a two episode thing but, but for the most part the episodes have been a one-off but i believe with this episode we're going to get like a a couple episode series of you know some events going on now this stuff it initially started with right before the eye of midnight sun attacked and I think this is really important because there are lots of people, uh, not necessarily, I don't think, in the community of Black Clover, but kind of outside looking in that say that Black Clover doesn't really have uh, any stakes or things don't matter. But I believe like in the beginning of this episode, you can really see how this is, is, is just completely false. Like we got to see a woman who lost her mother-in-law, I want to say, because I don't think that was her actual mom because the other chick who was healing her arm looked like her mom. But I, I kind of feel like this was her mother-in-law and her husband, who honestly, they kind of seemed like jerks a little bit, but they didn't really go into it and they're dead. So I guess we, we won't, <laughs> we might not get to find out. So who knows on that one, but we get to see that like she lost people that were close to her. Her town was destroyed. She was very distraught about this. And there are others like her who this had happened to. They lost for lack of a better words, everything in this attack, it just doesn't, like, for some reason, people just like to seem, or like to say that, like, if it didn't affect the main cast, I guess it isn't a stake. So, with the episode, it starts, like, way, like, back there to kind of give you an idea of some of the setup and where some of these characters are, are, are more or less coming from. And then we also get uh, this other guy, I, I want to say his name, his uh, Ka Ka Kawabe, or Kabe, Kawabe, however you say it, but he's, ex he's really pushing for the execution of people that are, you know, quote unquote servants of the devil. So like Asta, uh, Nero, and even Marie, who were um, on trial for being like associated with, with the devil, which was essentially them and I was doing just to kind of like have someone to place blame on, uh, as opposed to just Asta him or not Asta, but as opposed to all of the magic knights that were possessed you know it, it was it was kind of his attempt to kind of make that right i made an entire video about why asta's trial was important i'll put a link to it in the video so you guys can see that but like if you want more in detail on that but that's basically why he did that and uh since uh kawabe or kabe couldn't really get uh anything out of Naminato because he wanted them to be ex executed now but of course as we know and as in, in the story they're going to wait six months until you know they're dealing with the actual spade kingdom before they you know proceed to do anything as far as asta's trial goes so uh the women from the village earlier meet up with, with him and they essentially form this group called the devil banishers and they are basically taking justice into their own hands and are going to go after the quote-unquote servants of, of the devil which is a really interesting concept like this is a really already extremely fun filler right now like i'm like at, at the beginning of it i was wondering where all the, this was uh, going but with everything that, that's like set up here I'm, I'm kind of enjoying it so um so so far and then uh from there we get uh, back to the black bulls training uh we've seen a lot of this throughout the the filler asta and noel training and of course while noel is taking a break from training with asta that's when she meets up with gosh and finral and they're talking about how gosh is going to go visit marie later and while this is happening uh the devil banishers essentially went to where marie was and kidnapped her and is in this moment we got to see Nige or Nage, however you want to pronounce his name way back from from the cave um way back from from the uh, cave arc back when you know they were stealing kids and stealing their, their magic that's back when yami fought Partry for the first time it was way back then so we haven't seen him in a long time like i had completely forgot about this character entirely until we seen him and like i was like okay he might be able to do something to you know kind of help marie and like they just knocked him out with a bat and i was like wow this guy is looking bad right now like you got knocked out with a regular bat i'm like wow like 
Like, I, like they had like five or six mages there. They could have made his fight a little bit more impressive or, you know, something else. I mean, he did get snuck up one because he said he couldn't sense their mana. And we do find out later on that one of them has transparency magic, which is, seems kind of similar to Gildre's permeation magic. But I, I'd imagine it probably does all the same things except let, let things pass through them. So they probably can take advantage of not being able to be seen or sensed, but just can't, like, slip through things. But... But yeah, he just got knocked out with like a bat or a wooden stick, club, whatever you want to call it. And I'm like, wow, that's, he's looking bad. And then we get this flash over to Asta. Asta's still training uh, while he's waiting for Noel to come back. But side note, before I get into that, did you guys see the sandwich Noel made for Asta? This thing, I don't know what's on this, like... It looks like there's a whole stick of butter on there or lard or something like I don't know what she did but this is not a sandwich like I was cracking up when freaking ghost said is that food for the magical beast I was like yo what is this sandwich but anyway while she was uh, doing that and I uh, got Gauss and Fenrir are leaving um, the, the 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 devil banishers essentially sneak up to Asta which I was like but where's his key I'm like where is his key? Like, can he not sense this small group of people approaching him? Like, like, why is he still doing sit-ups? And then I, I was thinking to myself, well, maybe he does sense them, but, you know, he just doesn't care. Because, like, you know, he's freaking off. That he can pretty much handle almost anything at this point. Or not almost anything, but anything that a group like that could bring to the table. And, uh, and their plan is, or I guess I'm assuming their plan is, the, the like, one girl, she walks out of the uh, bush and I was just like oh man only one so like in, in that moment right there I feel like he knew that there were more people but that's like me really trying to give Asta the benefit of the uh, doubt here and assume and she like you know fate collapses or collapses whatever and um, Asta and Nero approach her and then she opens this bottle that has some type of like tranquilizing or poisonous some like some type of sedative uh, potion is in here and attempts to knock out um, Nero and Asta. Now, this is really good because um, Asta really can't do anything against something like that when you think about it. Because, like, unless it's a magic-based potion, then you could assume he could get the um, the Demon Destroyer Sword and, like, erase its effects. But if it's just made from natural plants in the area... He kind of just has to be, be poisoned or or uh, or sedated at that point. There's not much he can do about it. And Nero, who could potentially seal the effects, was also affected by it. So she couldn't really fix Asta or she couldn't get off the sealing inverse release in time, it looked like. Now, the only weird thing here to me in my thinking is why didn't she do it on her? Like, why didn't she attempt to use the, the spell on herself? But then again, at the same time, I feel like I've never seen Nero use the spell on her, on herself. But then we've never seen Nero use the spell a lot of times where I feel like it might have been a good moment too. So that one, you know, is going to have to be left up in the air for now. But now we get into the point where I have my big issue with the episode. Noel comes out. Noel comes out and sees the, 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 and sees this group. Now, there's no way that this group of people can beat Noel is 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 what I'm thinking like despite being you know a, a huge fan of the Golden Dawn and Mimosa and you know and all of them I still like the Black Bulls like don't get me wrong I still like them and I understand how strong they are like I, I trust me I, I am fully aware how strong Noel is so I'm like there's how are they going to handle this <laughs> so Noel comes out there and attempts to stop them and she gets ready to do a sea dragon's roar and they had this random fodder devil banisher smack her wand out of her hand mid sea dragon's roar she couldn't even finish her spell and i'm just like what is going on <laughs> and then to top it off they had somebody throw sand in her face <laughs> And she was kind of like incapacitated from it. So like she got blitzed by a random and sand in her face by another random and could not do anything. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, did they really do that to Noel? <laughs> like they made Noel look so bad in this episode. Like <laughs> they made her look so bad in this episode 
for whatever reason. Now, afterwards, we did get to see her, you know, put on her, her Sea Dragon's Roar. I mean, not her Sea Dragon's Roar, but her Valkyrie dress and catch up to them in attempts to, like, save Asta and Nero. But uh, she shot a Water Blast, like a Sea Dragon. Oh, what was it? Sea Dragon's Waterfall Beat? Oh, what was the name of that spell? I want to say it was like Sea Dragon's Water Waterfall Beat, something, something along those lines. If you know the name of it, let me know down below because my brain is failing me. But. This part was weird to me because she shot it at them despite them carrying Asa and it's just like it goes to show that like Noelle definitely thinks Asa is going to be okay through like anything essentially because she shot it like they were holding him so he probably could have gotten injured too but they decided to just leave Asa and only take Nero and um, you know they, that's when they don their transparency magic and disappear. And they're still there, obviously, but um, Noelle can't see them or sense them. So to her, she doesn't know they have transparency magic, so she probably thinks that they just, like, had disappeared. And, I mean, because, you know, spatial magic is, you know, they they, they, they say spatial magic is rare, but it feels like it's, it's, it's honestly common <laughs> at this point. Spatial magic feels really common at this point, but... But yeah, so she's, you know, just got to Austin, and we get, at the end, Ghosh getting there, and Marie's gone, so he's, you know... It's ghost, so he's he's gonna go to freaking ten. The episode's over, and I was like, wow, this was a really like decent episode outside of what they did to Noel. Like, I'm really excited for next episode because I know Ghost is gonna go crazy trying to get Marie back. I already know he's he's gonna go insane, but the stuff with Noel, like, oh, oh the stuff with Noel bothers me so much because there's this, like, it just made her look so bad. Like, just random, random person knocks her wand out of her hand mid-spell. Like, that looks horrible. <laughs> that looks absolutely horrible. Wow. But, anyway, for next episode, I'm sure um, that whatever poison or effect Asta is under. Since they showed Gordon, I'm pretty sure Gordon knows a little bit about this kind of stuff, so he may be able to help. Or Asta could just wake up on his own. It is Asta, after all. He might not even need that. And then we're probably going to get them, you know, pursuing um, Nero as well as Marie. I think it's really interesting in the previews. We got to see um, Damonado pop up. So I'm extremely curious to know how a lot of his interactions will go with characters since we didn't really get to see much of him outside of the, of the trial. So I definitely enjoy to see more of his character and what he's like. And just, you know, like I said right a second ago just those interactions will be really interesting to see uh, i am really excited for the next episode just with this whole turn that the anime has taken let me know how you guys are feeling about it down below if you guys are liking the episode please let me know how you guys feel about this noelle thing because man she's looking bad no noelle i need the noelle fandom that is always attacking me to pop up somewhere and tell me what is going on here because that looks bad <laughs> um outside of that i have nothing else for you guys make sure you guys like and sub to the video uh greatly appreciate all the support we're getting super close to a thousand so please help me out so i can get there i'd be really really appreciative of that but outside of that i have nothing else for you guys so i will catch you in my next video